Alright guys, I'm here to bring forth a new adventure today. I have some access points, some Power Beam 5 ACs. I had to remote in to do this for you guys to show you, and I was like, you know what, I should put one out too, and just show you how easy it is to get these point to point. As long as you have you whatever access point you get from Ubiquity, and I actually I should say Power Beam or Air Station that you get from Ubiquity, as long as it has this interface... Doing a bridge today should be the exact same thing on every one of these. Whether it's a loco or a power beam or whatever, it should be the same as long as it has this interface. So, what you're first going to want to do, I, this is the up here in the top right, is, um, sorry, top, yeah, top left, du -du -du -du. top left, this one is the main one. This one's connected to the router. And this one over here is the one that the router is accessing. This one is the one that um, is capturing the signal from the other network. So basically a bridge is basically connecting two networks together to share resources or be the same network, basically. So what you want to want to do first is go to the first one because it's going to have a... Uh, and go to, uh, sorry, Internet... And make sure it says bridge. It should say bridge by default, but just make sure. And you're going to want to make a static IP. Because it's going to want to give you a 121. And you're going to want to set it to a different than 120. Because when you add the other one in to set it up, it's going to default to 122. Then, so you should make... Uh, and, and here's the other thing. If you're going to add more of these. So you're like, well, maybe I'll change the first one. But I'll leave the other one 120. No, change it too. Because in case you add more or whatever, it could conflict. So just change it. So you click static. I set this one to 192.168.200. That's all you got to do, and then you'd hit save and apply. Then next over, we would go to wireless. And under wireless, don't change anything. All we need to do is change the SSID, so this is what's going to be broadcast to the other one, so you know what to pick. This is the, the, the name on the, that you'll be uh, searching for. Then you're going to want to go to uh, the security. So we're going to do the key, personal, and then you can put your uh, own, or you can do enterprise if you wanted to, uh, but uh, I just do personal, so WPAT, pre-shared key. Create a key. Name it what you want. Just remember, you need to write it down, you need SSID written down, and you need the WAP key written down, depending on what your company policy is. Some companies don't allow you to write the codes down. You have to have either, you know, the um, password folder thing on your computer, you know, like, uh, gosh, kind of LastPass or whatever they want to use. There's hundreds of them now. But um, keep the password or remember it in your head So for the next one. So after you've changed the IP address, hit apply, save changes to that. Plug the other one in. Unplug this one first. You're going to want to unplug this one. Well, actually, just make sure it, the IP address is, uh, uh, in, uh, you know comes over and your router is picking it up as the new IP address. If you have to, once you've saved it and you're back in the interface, unplug the device, plug it back in. Um, or uh, if the router's not picking it up, restart the router, and then you should get that new IP address. So after that, plug the next one in. So the next one is over here. What you're going to want to do to this one is go to network again, and then you're going to want to hit static. Make sure it's bridge up here. It should be, but just make sure. Uh, and then you're going to want to set an IP address for this one. I did this one 201. This one is a, a 192.168.6 network because it's on its own VLAN. So this will be, um, they wanted their, this network for somebody else to be isolated from their other network. So I put it on a different VLAN. So, um, and this is for a home user. Um, but yeah, so we did that. We put that over there. This is actually going to be for my mother and father-in-law's. It's for my mother and father-in-law's house that sends a signal over to their house. So the bridge. So the Starlink for my brother-in-law's to their house, basically, and with their own Unify stuff. And it just makes it even more secure. So they can't get onto theirs, and they can't do theirs. So even if somebody unplugs the router at my parents' house and just goes right into it, they're still isolated from my brother-in-law's network. And my brother-in-law can't just go onto their network because their router is blocking them from going in. And so, yeah, so they have their own stuff, but they share the Internet connection. So uh, once you've changed all this... Uh, I did the primary DNSs. I like Cloudflare, so I did it in the other one, too. But, yeah, I like Cloudflare, so that's why I did it. And just to make sure that I did do it, because I'm checking myself, yes, I did. Perfect. So, once that's done, and it really, I, to be honest, it really doesn't matter, because this is going to another router that's going to manage everything, so... 
uh, IP range for this really doesn't matter because the other router will make its own IP range. This is, you know, just for this one network. So this one uh, six two hundred one is probably going to have three things on it. Their other person's router, my mother and father-in-law's, and the two um, power beams on it. So that's all it's going to have. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the wireless settings. And this one is going to be an access point. So you want to set the second one to be an access point, not the main one. The one that's going to be capturing the information from the main one. You want that one to be set as an access point. After that, all you need to do is go to uh, the SSID, type the SSR we had before, put it in there, and then under um, security, put that exact same password that I told you to remember in there, and hit save, and then boom, you will have a link connection. And this is for this one, so depending on what uh, one you're on, see I'm on the receiving end, if I go to this other one, and I go back to here, I'm on this side, because this is the other one, so boom, and boom. Boom, and boom. So yeah, I wanted to help you guys out, make some cool stuff, but that's how you guys can set up your own bridge. Make these, uh, it's really not that hard at all. It's pretty easy and it's amazing. And some of these suckers can go far. Like this one's supposed to go uh, 15 miles. So it's pretty dang far. 15 miles is pretty dang far. And these were, you know, $119, $119 each. So it's not a bad deal. And their house isn't even a mile apart. And I wanted to be good, so no problems. And for that price, just to have this, uh, you know, the strength and the good connection, it should be awesome for them. Uh, I mean, remember my parents, or my mother and father, are going from uh, one megabit to sharing a Starlink connection, and even though the Starlink's down, this you know their little thing they're having right now, the problem with certain areas, they're still getting regularly, usually 50, 60. My brother-in-law was sharing that from he was getting 10 before, and they were getting one before. It's pretty good for both of them until the more satellites up there. Sometimes he gets a hundred and something, but you know. Not always, but yeah, it'll be coming. We'll see how it goes, but yeah, so this is going to help them out. But hey, what you guys can do to help me out, like, comment, subscribe, but the most important thing is you and your family are having a rock and rolling day. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.